Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question for the given circuit, we have been given the input signal and we have been asked the output voltage of the given circuit at time t is equal to 5 millisecond. Now if you know this diode circuit, then you can easily say that what should be the output of this circuit because this circuit is the peak detector circuit. But even if you don't know, then using the simple analysis also, you can also find the output voltage. So here we have been given that initially the voltage across this capacitor is equal to 0.3 volt and this diode is the ideal diode. That means in the forward bias condition it will act as a short circuit and in the reverse bias condition it will act as a open circuit. So whenever this input signal is applied then up to 0.3 volt this diode will act as a open circuit because up to that point the voltage at the anode is less than the cathode. Now as soon as this input voltage crosses the 0.3 volt then once again this diode will start conducting and it will act as a short circuit. So in this condition now this capacitor will charge up to the input voltage. So during the first peak it will charge up to the 0.4 volt and after the first peak if you see then the input voltage is reducing. Therefore once again this diode will act as a open circuit because until this V in is less than 0.4 volt up to that point this diode will act as a open circuit because up to that point the voltage at the anode is less than the cathode. Now once again after this point when the input voltage crosses the 0.4 volt then once again this diode will start conducting and now the capacitor will charge up to this peak voltage that means now at this point the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to 1 volt. Now once again after this peak, since the input voltage is reducing, so once again the voltage at the anode will be less than the cathode. And therefore this diode will act as a open circuit. And after this point if you see, then this V in is always less than 1 volt. So until the input voltage goes beyond this 1 volt, the voltage across the capacitor will remain 1 volt and this capacitor will hold this voltage because there is no path for discharge for this capacitor. That means this capacitor will hold this 1 volt. That means even during the next peak also since the input voltage is less than 1 volt so this diode will act as a open circuit and if we see the voltage at this 5 millisecond then the voltage across the capacitor or the output voltage will be equal to 1 volt. So in short, since this circuit is the ideal peak detector, so it will hold the peak voltage of the signal. And if we see the voltage at the 5 millisecond, then it will be equal to 1 volt. And therefore, for the given question, this D is the correct answer.